having some collisions there with Jet as they make a last minute decision to pit. And I crash into that little mushroom house there. I am being mounted by rock. <laughs> This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gene Rally 2. For those who don't know, Gene Rally 2 is a newly released game off of Steam, actually still technically in early access, but it follows the story of two Finnish students who created Gene Rally 1 all the way back in 2002, a top-down arcade racer. And throughout this journey, they have released this game to the world and more or less garnered a larger fan base than expected and throughout the years many of the community has been involved in helping to add many new updates to the game all the way through 2018 i believe so then fairly recently there is uh, news that they are finally getting back together with the community to produce the second version of gene rally so let's check it out here today so already fairly promising yes there's only local race in the track editor so far however coming later online race and i'm very excited about that but for the meantime let's just do local race and very nicely it actually does have controller support so i'll add myself in here customize my car so now that i've added in some ai drivers here we can actually go ahead and customize them here we can change the name the livery the colors and even the skill they're pretty competitive so i'll leave it at that but when we go to the track selection you're thinking, well, this game only has got, I don't know, a handful of games, like a handful of tracks, maybe 15 or so. And you're thinking, well, what's the big deal about this game? Why is everybody so, so excited for this game? Well, as you saw in the beginning, there is a track editor, which means that you can go to the Steam Workshop and download some of your favorite tracks. So we'll start with maybe one or two of these, and then we'll do my downloaded track by Enforcer. Enforcer, nice. So press any button. Hit an A to start. And away we go here. Already making a great lead. Immediately crashing and then crashing into Turbo. And I'm now facing the wrong way. Turbo is way off into the distance here. Struggling to maintain grip here as I am causing all sorts of chaos through this poor little city today. Having some collisions there with Jet as they make a last minute decision to pit. And I crash into that little mushroom house there. I am being mounted by rock. <laughs> Let's see if we can make our way up into second position there. Coming along there very quickly. Making an outside move as there is a massive collision there. And I fly off into some spectators. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> so immediately here, you guys are wondering like, oh my goodness, is this guy just that bad of a driver? Yes. In fact, the answer is yes. And with Gene Rally, it's very interesting how the mechanics work here. Uh, the cars are fairly floaty and they do have a very low amount of grip, if I'm honest. So the cars do kind of float around and danced around quite a bit. I'm just trying to drive here, but this guy is just not letting me. So this is really, really annoying if I'm honest. Just, just, I'm already embarrassed enough. I'm already struggling enough. Just let me, let me die in peace, please. There we go. Eighth place. Oh boy. So we'll actually get a pretty good comparison here because we actually do have, um, the general car, which is a 1960s Formula One kind of car. So that is with us here as a comparison about how the, about other cars and how they handle. And it looks like that the lightning car that we're in is not as fast on the asphalt, but definitely has way, 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 way better traction when it comes to both the ice and the off-road here because yeah when I was doing this track with the general car like it was it was incredibly painful playing around on the ice there where you'd be going full throttle and you'd be going like 10 miles an hour here 
So I wonder if my issues racing before were down to the fact that the general car just probably doesn't have that much grip. Because already I'm doing immensely better at this. Yeah, so sorry that you all had to witness what you saw before. So maybe I'll just cut all that. <laughs> so lap 4-4 here. Coming on down to our icy river here with a sizable lead. We've got Icy on Polaris here, trying to make their way up to first place here, but I think we'll just drift around this corner at the last moment there. Oh, we've got an accident here. Clip the inside a little bit too too close there. Across the line. First place. Very happy about that one. All right, here we are on Canyon. Yan? Canyon Yan? So we're drifting around the corner, and now we have to fly off this cliff. Oh, that's a jump there. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's the wonderful thing about this game here, is that I'll actually show off in a little bit with the track editor, is that the you are given a quite limited space for being able to create tracks. But at the same time, too, the possibilities are quite simply endless with this. So we've got like this double figure eight track with literal jumps. And keep in mind, too, one of the nice things about this uh, track editor as well is that there are some terrain differences that you can incorporate. So this track has got quite a bit of that terrain difference there. But the even cooler thing about it, too, is that the physics model in this game really does keep in track what gravity does. Because I'll show in the next track here where there is kind of like a hill that you climb up and then on the way down, you definitely feel the, the lack of grip and the speed as you're going down the hill. All right, so here we are. This is kind of what I'm talking about here. So we have a quite steady, gradual incline up. And now that we are going downhill, we're just racing on down as we're getting beaten into the wall by Icy and then beaten once again by Ace as I crash into the pit crew who seem very uninterested. <laughs> we have a massive accident with Ace as we climb over this bridge and then yield on our way down this hill. Trying to keep it all together here. Lap three of four. I don't think that we're going to be able to make first place here, but if we do, it'll be an absolute miracle. So again, going down the hill once more. We're now up into second place on the last lap here. We're just hoping that... Icy is going to run into some traffic there and hold them up. It looks like they have a little bit of an accident, but they're across the line. So we take home second place. Not a bad race. There we are, finishing second overall. A lot better than our first round. I will admit that much. So let us go to the track editor here. We'll kind of show you what we're all about here. So we're given a very green square terrain height there we go brush size and brush strength and we'll do height adjustment and in a circle and we'll just kind of do a little bit of this at the very back here and then we'll do a little bit of smoothing here and naturally right about there so terrain type, we'll do some gray. We'll do brush size, not that much. <laughs> and what are we thinking? We'll do kind of up like this. I don't know, maybe a little bit of chicane. Do up here, a little bit of that. Come back down. One starting here, here, here. Start positions. Do one of those and test up in the first corner there and up the very steep hill over the top there into the first chicane second chicane I should say 
Went all the way back down that hill there. Drifting around there into the fourth checkpoint. Losing out completely before we're able to rejoin. Do a little bit of a chicane there once again through the seventh checkpoint and across the line, I guess. There we are. Nice little track, actually. So then from there, we can uh, add some barriers. We definitely should add some barriers there. And there we go. Like I was kind of saying there at the track editor is pretty intuitive for the most part. Of course, you know, adding lots of different objects there. You can do all sorts of incredible things with different types of terrain and different types of um, you know, terrain heights and, you know, even making designs on the track and all the rest of that, having some outlines and dashed lines. So, I mean, like I was saying before, the possibilities are endless with this. And honestly, I think this would be a lot of fun if you take the time to really understand all of its intricacies and really understand all of that going on here. Um, is this really worth me keeping this track? And eh, not really, because we've got a lot of cooler tracks that we can see on the Steam Workshop. So let's uh, take a look one last time. So honestly, going to the Steam Workshop is really easy here because yes, you'll sit here and go like, well, where's all the tracks? And you refresh the list and it's just the one that you already downloaded. So you have to go to get more tracks. And then you can look through all these here. So I kind of like this one here. So we'll subscribe to that one. We'll go back to game. We'll refresh the list. And there it is. So we'll get rid of the rest of these. Go to next. Do four laps. And look at that. I mean, it's it's already downloaded. It's already ready to go. So, yeah, that's that's amazing. Honestly, the how quick it is to download these tracks and get them all set up and all the rest of it. I'm blown away how easy it is to find new tracks download them and then jump right into them so i can't even wait to see what they're going to do with the online racing because this is this is fantastic so press any button three two one and we are off And I guess this is something that is actually going to be a great public service announcement is to not only test your own tracks, but uh, be aware that some other tracks might be like this too. I don't know if there is a reset button. And uh, yeah, the AI aren't even moving. So keep that in mind, everybody. <laughs> so let's try this one instead here. I believe this track is called Kanjo Pass or K-A-G-O Pass and already this is a lot better. I mean these this track is incredibly narrow and somehow some way, I am off into the future here as everybody's being left behind as they're having so many of their own issues. I say that and I am immediately caught on. Oh the worst thing has happened. I have fallen off the track completely. <laughs> But yeah, this looks like somebody, even though this was released on the 30th, so this is a game that has now been out in early access for only three or four days now. This is amazing. You can tell the intricacies of the details that the uh, user had put in here. I mean, these are some really tight corners with some very tight um, terrain. Because yeah, as you saw there, I just went over one of the barriers and fell off quite a ways. So this track here, you can definitely spend a lot of time mastering playing on, and then the track editor too, mastering, you know, getting the perfect course of your dreams. I'll move out, move this guy out of the way here. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go over here. And we're going to pass this guy over here who is uh, caught on the ledge there. So yeah, this track, I don't think 
we would want to have multiple AI really on, maybe only a handful. But the nice thing too is that this game is up to, I believe they said six players. So in the menu there where it said, you know, uh, add AI or press whatever button to add player, you can add up to at least six other, well, five other players besides yourself there. So I'm just trying to imagine what kind of chaos that this would be here, playing with all your friends on such intricate tracks made by the com community. So this is, this in my mind is what it's all about. Games these days that are coming out are, the reason why they're still being played is because of the community involvement. So like Forza Horizon 5, the reason why a lot of people are still playing is because it's being patched monthly and that they have a really, really cool track editor that I made a video on quite some time ago there. And then you've got games like Need for Speed Unbound where they'll release like an update once every three months and then not say a word about it and then just say, have fun. And they're probably already working on their next game at this point. So with all these new games coming out, keeping in mind like Forza Motorsport and uh, Test Drive Unlimited, Solar Crowns, and then of course Hot Wheels Unleashed, oh boy. <laughs> and Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. We'll see which one of the these games that are coming out in the future that are really going to have a huge amount of community support, the ones that are really going to last a long time into the future, and which ones are going to die out immediately. So with Gene Rally 2, since this game has been the original version, should I say, has been developed for over two decades at this point, and now they've finally got the sequel here. I imagine that this is one of these games that we'll see quite a bit in the future here when it finally gets its official release as we've got so many new ways to be able to race with all sorts of new cars and a lot of community features like eventually online play, but being able to make your own track and share it with the world is really cool. So I... I love this game already. Again, I'm still trying to figure out the physics, but man, is it is this going to be a lot of fun? So if you enjoy this video, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of this game, if you want me to actually try out the uh, track editor a little bit more in depth, if you want more information about this game and whatnot, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, we are probably going to have more Gran Turismo videos in the future and in the next couple of weeks, probably F123 videos, of course. So again, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.